And, and, and Reggie fils and Charles Martinet were right next to me while I was doing so. So I was like having okay. uh, a, about wow. to, a word that I don't want to say in our show, myself. So <laughs> you were just, I was, you were uh, fangirling. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to the Squadcast. Today, I have some of my favorite people on the internet on our show, a channel called Gaming Off The Grid. Say hello, guys. Hey, how's hello. it going, everybody? Hey, guys, so I wanted Gaming Off The Grid here, but I'm a little scared because they're just as loud and fast talking as I am, which can be a terrible combination <laughs> when trying to film a thing and record different audio, especially when we can't see each other. I don't even know what you guys are wearing. Are you guys like with shirts on and stuff? You're, you're I'm, proper. I'm completely naked. Okay, that's <laughs> that's the that's the getup. But you can see a shirt on me, but below I got nothing on. So that's, that's <laughs> okay. Perfect. Good. That's good to know for my brain. All right, boys, boys. Today we are talking about the Wii U, and before we do dive in, I kind of mm -hmm. wanted to like read a little quick tidbit that Nintendo. Nintendo put out when they first put out the Wii U to kind of get to kind of get our, our juices flowing for the Wii U, okay? Yep, good old Nintendo. Okay. Let's do it. Here's here's what Nintendo had to say when the Wii U came out. It's an <laughs> entirely new system that will change the way you experience entertainment. For the first time, experience your favorite Nintendo worlds in crystal clear high definition. The new Wii U gamepad wow. controller removes the traditional barriers between you, your games, and your TV by creating a second window into the video game world. Which I guess let's let's go let's go west first. For the first thing I kind of wanted to mention, we. To Wii U, was that like a weird thing for you when you first heard it, or were you one of those people like me? I admit, a lot of the world freaked out. I was like, oh, that's that's a cool name, I guess. But what about you? Um, I was uh, initially I didn't like or dislike the name of it. I just was kind of confused as to what it was. I remember, I, like, I needed to go to the store and like check it out. You know, um, Got it. I thought it was like maybe a upgraded version of the Wii. Um, I didn't Got necessarily it. know right right from the jump that it was a brand new console. And I think that was maybe a problem for it. But. So, so you were one of those people that could have been a little confused? Yes, I would put myself in the confused camp. <laughs> confused camp. Robert? I was also in the confused camp. I thought it was like a, a, a Wii mod or a Wii edition, you know, like the Sega CD or something, like the new version of that. And I was very confused. And then when I saw it initially, I was like, what? This is not a Wii. This is a Wii U. So it's different. It's so I was confused. That's interesting because I was one of those people, even going back to like original Nintendo and Super Nintendo days, I never was like too into like what was coming out. I never was one like always like anticipating new releases. So when it came out for me, yeah. I was never confused because it was kind of already like locked in at that point. Like the rumors had spread through the world like, oh, it's a new Nintendo console. A new what about Nintendo's first jump into HD? How'd that make you guys feel? I mean, it, it was it was about time. Yeah. Yeah, they were late to the party, for sure. It's funny because I guess when the Wii came out, I'm always like a, I guess I'm an easy person to please. I never was like, I guess, waiting for Nintendo to go full, full HD. I was never like, I guess, necessarily complaining about it, like when the Wii was out. Yeah, we downscale everything in our game room to CRT TVs, so really, it wasn't a huge thing. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But uh, I do remember, um, you know, at the time uh, that that came out, I think I was still maybe finishing college up, and it was kind of nice to, uh, you know, have the ease of use, I guess. But, I, you know, graphics are nev have never really bothered me a whole lot. I'm not way into having the, the you know, 4K or whatever, um, 1080p, um, So, but it, it was cool. Okay, good. Yeah, I was never that way either, too, until I met Gabo, and stupid Gabo's like, oh, is that 4K Ultra HDR? And I'm like, oh, uh, I, I guess I need it now that you're mocking me. <laughs> yeah, now that you're making fun of me. All right, the big question, let's start with Robert. The kind of the main topic we wanted to talk about, we kind of wanted to dive into a few different things about the Wii U, but Robert, what is your thoughts on collecting for the Wii U? Is, is now the time, and before I, I have you answer, I have to give you a little tidbit. I've talked to a couple like sellers of stores recently, and a lot of them are saying that they feel like it is the time for to collect for the Wii U. But they also say right now in this moment, they they have a very hard time selling Wii U stuff. But that's just a little thing I wanted to plant Ooh. before I uh, let you freely dive into your wondrous world of thoughts of collecting for the Wii U. Um, I do think now is the perfect time to collect for it. First off, the library of games is pretty small compared to other Nintendo consoles, so like. To get a full collection is super easy, and 
there's a bunch of sealed games still out. Like, we just were at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and we got a sealed copy of Wonderful 101 for 20 bucks, sealed. So, like, I feel like the prices are low, they're out there, and if stores have them, you might as well pick them up, because in a couple years, I feel like it's going to be gone. It's going to be hard to find. Um, yeah, I definitely, I think now is for sure the time. Um, I think that people are having a hard time selling it right now because it's been ported to the Switch like crazy. Um, yeah. And I don't think that collector's bug or nostalgia bug has bit, you know, people yet. But I do think that once people start scouring and collecting for this, I mean, it's got a really low install base. It's I think it's the lowest selling Nintendo home console. So it's like 13 million. Oh, units, yeah, which is by still far. A, still a ton. Um, but... I just think, you know, somewhere down the line, um, it's going to be, you know how Nintendo collectors are. Nintendo collectors are the craziest ones. And it's I, true. Think it's gonna it's be, true. I think it's going to be, uh, you know, a, a big deal at some point. I, I hear the buzz all the time of the next Dreamcast. Do you think that's a, a true thing? Where where we're going to look back? Because the Dreamcast, yes, is, is one of those things where, like, like we all know, people didn't really go into it as hard when it first came out. And now everybody's collecting it. Everybody wants it. It's it's cool to collect for. But at the same time, the games are also fantastic. And I would say the Dreamcast was underrated. Do you feel like besides the collect yeah. besides the collecting aspect, do you feel like the Sega Dreamcast was I mean, the Nintendo, the Wii U is something that also accompanies really good underrated video games? For sure, I've always, I've actually said a few times, I think those those two consoles really are very eerily similar, and they kind of run down parallel tracks for me because they've both been ported to death almost. There's not many exclusive games on the Dreamcast that haven't been, you know, ported over to PS2, GameCube, so on and so forth. And the Wii U is Got now it. suffering the same fate, but they both used the second screen. They were both that t like tweener generation like it was in between one generation and the next it kind of you know which gen does it belong in and maybe too early to the party they're kind of confusing consoles so I, I love that comparison there okay i like that uh, an another point that i wanted to kind of uh talk about a little is and this might be just a personal thing but the wii u gamepad do you like it or do you hate it do you love it let's go robert I love the gamepad. I love having the second screen and like when we're playing, you know, co-op on the Wii U, I always want the gamepad. <laughs> I know some people fight over it, yeah. but I'm like, no, give it to me so I can focus, so I can look down. Like if we're playing Mario Kart, for example, I like looking up to see everyone, but then looking back down at the gamepad. And I just, I just think the gamepad is awesome. And like for certain games, you need the gamepad because it's like a second screen and you can access like your toolbar and it makes the games easier and funner to play yeah. funner is not a word but it is now it is now <laughs> uh it, yeah i think um if it's used right like there's a few games that i think the um like best version of the game is on the wii u like axiom verge is really oh, yeah. fun to play on the wii u because your map yeah. is right down on the tablet and you don't have to pause it to go look at your map yeah um yep I'm probably going to say it, Deus Ex, um, uh, the Batman Arkham games, all those use oh, yeah, in a yep. very intuitive yeah. way. But there are, are some games that kind of poop the bed with it, too, and the developers didn't put a lot of time into it. So um, it's like, kind of a 50-50 deal. Yeah, you know what? The one thing I'll say about the the gamepad versus, like, and this is, I'm going versus, like, the Nintendo Switch tablet. And my brother is the, kind of the first one that brought this up to me because we both have kid, young kids, or as I told you guys earlier, small children. <laughs> they, what, I, I feel, it, I don't know if it's just because kids are rough or because kids toss things around. When when they're holding the Nintendo Switch tablet, I genuinely get anxiety. Like, oh God, please don't drop oh. that. But when they're holding the Wii U gamepad, I'm like, I feel like it's sturdy, and it ha we we like we babysit my sister-in-law's uh, son, and he carries the Wii U gamepad. I'll be honest, I've seen him drop it. I've seen him kind of run his snot on it and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I, I I can wipe it out with a Clorox wipe, and this thing's still running strong. Is it just like a mental thing, or it, does the Nintendo Switch tablet feel, it's great, don't, this is no hate, I, you're talking to a guy who has a Nintendo Switch tattoo on his arm, does it feel like <laughs> a little more dainty and more breakable and the Wii U gamepad feels like more sturdy? I feel the exact same way. Every time I pick up the Nintendo Switch, I'm an adult. I get scared I'm gonna break it because it's so thin and it's, but the Wii U tablet is, it's chunky, it has a good grip, it, yeah. and it feels like it's made out of like thick material and I, 
I would not be afraid to just drop this right now and it wouldn't break. But the Nintendo Switch tablet, that scares me. That scares me a lot. Are, Are you Wii holding Wii a Wii U right now? Is... I'm holding a Wii U tablet. Okay, I remember, I can't, I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry, Wes, go ahead. No, I, just, I think it's built to spill. That's a good band, too, by the way. Um, but the... Uh, the tablet has better joysticks, too, than the Switch. The Switch joysticks drive Ooh. me crazy. They're, like, little and, uh, you know, so I like I can actually play and feel like I'm playing a real video game with the, the Wii U tablet. When I play the Switch, I like using a and pro controller. And there's a D-pad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm a pro controller Switch player, for sure. And that's, and that's, again, I want to make sure I point this out. Some people might be like, oh, you guys are doing a video saying the, the Switch sucks and the Wii U is better. This isn't a comparison, so to say. No. This is just as kind of I looking. love the Switch. Me too. Yeah. yeah you we're, know, we're big I, fans of both. The same. Something, and this might be another thing in my brain as well, again, but there's a few games where that, that have been ported over to the Switch where I genuinely enjoy, and I know you guys probably won't agree with this one, uh, I like the way it plays better, and my brother, again, is the one who said it, we like the way... Uh, uh, Mario Mario Maker feels on the Wii U like Ooh. using this I don't know for some reason I don't know what it is I don't know if uh, the, the feel of the screen I know it's a different type of screen I don't know I like the way it feels I don't know I feel like I'm a little more accurate with my placement in the Mario Maker games in the Wii U I don't know I uh, have not this is this is bad but I haven't played the new Super Mario Maker yeah. so me I, neither <laughs> okay I don't okay. have the, the comparison I've played the first one though and I, I've always loved how it works on the on the pad and the controlling, and I love the dual screen mechanic. Oh yeah, it's it's a beautiful thing. Okay, here's a, here's <laughs> I mean, oh wait, uh, okay, I guess I don't know if this is the last topic or we can talk as much as you guys want to ramble on. If you guys have anything to say, please jump in. But before I say my last point, and then you guys can say whatever you want after that, what is the best game that is still? exclusive to the Wii U because that's everyone's complaint. Oh, it's, it's everything's on the Switch now. No, not everything's on the Switch. Ooh. I, I can go first so you guys can think. Yeah, go for it. I was going to say Game & Wario because I love that game, but straight, game. straight up, I play so much Nintendo Land in my house that it's unreal. Ooh. This is like Everybody has like their party game. Nintendo Land for me and my kids is by far and large the game that's played anytime friends come over. Nintendo Land family comes over. Nintendo Land, you have the fun Zelda game where you work together. You have the, the Samus video game. You have the Luigi's Mansion type video game. I feel like there are a bunch of little mini games, but they're all so well thought out in a fun way. Yeah, they're not all perfect, but I don't know, it's just one of those mini games that those mini games and video games that gets like all of our attention while we're playing and brings the smiles and it's not on the Switch. It's not. I have more. <laughs> but go ahead. It's a fantastic game indeed. There there's no doubt. I love that game and it was a pack in for a lot of uh, consoles. I don't know if you got yeah, it with yours, yeah, yeah. but I did. Um I don't know. For me, I, I would say the the one that stands out. I mean, I really think uh, Mario 3D World is really good. Um, but I'd probably go with Wonderful 101. That's a great co-op. Oh game. yeah, that's that. A, that game is bad. Beautiful artwork too. I'm debating between Pikmin 3 and the original Splatoon. Ooh. I know there is Splatoon 2, I think, on the Switch. Yes. But the first one, the first one's pretty sweet, and that game is just awesome. That's such a fun, unique game. I think it, I'm going to go with Splatoon. I think that game, that yeah, game steals my heart. I, I would say, yeah, the other one I'd have to jump into, like you were saying earlier, is uh, 3D Land, Mario 3D Land, 3D World. I can't remember that actually, but man, that is my kids, uh, right as of now, their all-time favorite Mario game, and I love playing it with them it's such a fun game i love the cat mechanics of climbing and uh what's that other exclusives there's there's game and wario there's isn't devil's third uh an exclusive for the wii u i think as well yeah that Ooh. one's actually going um, up in price a lot too i, I just saw it sealed isn't the other like day yoshi's woolly world isn't that exclusive yeah and that's a great game and i know every oh and then there's kirby rainbow curse rainbow course yep. Ooh, yeah that's a good another uh, beautiful looking video game uh, well, I think Zombie U has been ported. That was a fun game. I always thought that was an underrated um, zombie shooter. Star yeah. Fox Zero. 
which is I that exclusive. Yeah, I, I so yes, it is, and I like that game. And the thing is, I feel like that kind of that, that hinders so much in the day and age we live in is we get an opinion before we actually get our own opinion. And I feel like oh I, yes, and I played Star Fox before any opinion came out, and I because I played at E3. Funny enough, I got to play it inside of a, an R wing. Uh, that is awesome. At e what? And and and. Reggie fils and Charles Martinet were right next to me while I was doing so. So I was like wow. having okay. uh, a, about wow. to, a word that I don't want to say on our show myself. So <laughs> you were just, I was, you uh, were fangirling. Boys, open floor. Do you guys have anything you want to add or say about the Wii U? Uh, Amiibo uh, support. It was the first time yes. talking with Amiibo support. And you know, I just like right here, this Metal Gear. It's just some of these little Amiibos. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. And uh, it's pretty cool. Amiibos are one of those things too where I like, I loved the idea of them, then I hated them because everyone loved them, and now I love them again. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I only have a couple Amiibos just because I like the certain characters, but they are cool. They yeah. are they are cool, and it was a cool thing, and I think it's a cool thing for kids. I think kids really love, you know, being able to get an Amiibo as a toy, and then you can put it in your game, and that's super cool. I like no that. Doubt. I like that. Yeah, I remember uh, the reason I was like, I was so hyped on because of what they did, and then I remember as my show being a collector-based show, I remember that's what got me bummed because when they first came out, all the collector world. I just, here it goes. I could see the world of like, did you get this amiibo and this amiibo and that amiibo? And I bought 50 of these and I was like, all right, I'm already out and it's just begun. <laughs> yeah, they, it Any did other... get a little crazy. It, it simmered a little bit, I feel like. Oh, for sure it did. And I know when like Link's Awakening just came out, I remember people like being like, posting pictures and this of the, of the Link, little Link amiibo yep. and everyone freaking out. And I'm like, and I'm like, I know this is bad. I know this is going to sound terrible, but even, even some of my friends were like, I bought four of them. And I know I shouldn't say this, but in the back of my head, I was like, I hope they wasted their money and come up on a loss on this one. <laughs> <laughs> but the, yeah, but they, funny uh... enough. You can still find them everywhere, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 really funny. <laughs> and then from a collector standpoint, I love the big box pack-ins they did, uh, like with the Amiibos Ooh. with the games in them. They were so cool. I like those a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yoshi's those, those Yoshi big got box cool. Amiibo things are sweet. Yeah, I agree. Any other points, boys, about the Wii U? I, we just love it. I, I don't know what else to say. It's uh, I think it's time. I think I'm people just... need to get it. It, it, I guess it's like, you know, it's like the Dreamcast. Like you said, it's just such a bummer when you can fast forward years ahead and go, man, that was definitely unappreciated. And, and so many people that have the Switch now are enjoying these deluxe versions of these games that, you know, of, and, and of Wii U games. And half the younger yeah. generation doesn't even realize these were amazing games on the Wii U. Oh, that's a little point I wanted to bring up. When you were talking about Mario Kart 8 earlier, there's something yeah. a little lost for me. It's like when we put in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe last night, we just bought a, a Switch version too, and we haven't played in a while. And we put in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and I was so excited to play. And then my daughter was like, oh, here's all the tracks and all the characters. And I was like, we already have, yeah, they just we already, we already have them all. I was like, that's cool. But at the same time, like, where's Like you don't have to work for it. That, yeah, it where's the sucks. effort? Yeah. Well, I, this is a funny one. They called New Super Mario Brothers U. They left the U in there and put it on the Switch. <laughs> Come on, that man. That was actually fun. I, don't deny my existence. You know, it's like a bad ex-girlfriend. Like, don't deny I ever existed. <laughs> say, I, say I was the best you ever had, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going uh, straight up f full scale right now. Wii U, Robert, 1 to 10 on the rating scale. Not in terms of a Nintendo console, just the Wii U overall, one to 10. Robert and then Wes. Like not comparing it to anything? You're not comparing. You you, you are, you are a, you just discovered what this is Z and you played it. Just zoning in on the Wii U, I'd probably say, I'm gonna give it an eight. Hoo <laughs> them high numbers, I like is it. That a good, is that a good score? Th that's a great score. I'm curious to hear what you guys are going to say. As much as I love it, I'm going to go with a with a high six because it didn't have Ooh. great third party support, and nowadays it's pretty oh. important. But its its yeah. own yeah. stuff is really good. I but I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. 
you're, you're touching on a point that's yeah a whole other point you're right it doesn't have great third-party support but you know for guys like uh nintendo people you know sometimes that's uh i guess like you know again my kids that's all they care about is the yeah the marios and the yoshis and the kirbys and all that so i am gonna have to judge it right now and i'll probably get hate for this i'm going like i said oh. based off simply the wii u and what it's done in my household in my life the memories the fun i had i don't really base numbers off uh actual numbers i base numbers off my level of smiles and enjoyment i've gotten a nine out of ten out of the wii u yes. I, oh, I, I yes. really have I That's really have awesome. though. I've gotten so much out of it. I've gotten some of my favorite memories as kids. I think it's kind of the first console that my kids were able to beat a multiple amount of games on. So for me to see that as a dad looking down, man, I saw little Riff on the floor beating Bowser. I saw <laughs> me and my brothers jumping so and cool. jumping and screaming when we finally beat a level that we tried. And I'm like, I'm like, oh man, that right there is that. I, I tell them after, you know, you guys remember this. Like, this is going to be something you're going to remember. And then I gave them a lecture on what nostalgia is. You're going to have nostalgia someday. <laughs> that <guys>. is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's been cool. And now my kid collects Wii U, which is like double cool things I like collecting. And that Nintendo, is super so. cool. You guys, uh, let me, I, I wasn't even planning on doing this, but I'll try to think of a couple questions so we can get to know you better in like one minute. I'll ask a question, give me a quick answer. We'll go Wes answer, then Robert answer every time I ask, okay? Okay. I'm thinking he's off the top of my head. Beatles or Rolling Stones? Beatles. Wes, okay, Robert. Beatles, hands down. You guys, that's the right answer, even though there is no right answer. Iron Maiden or Led <laughs> Zeppelin? Ooh, uh, Led Zeppelin. I'm going to have to go with Led Zeppelin, too. You guys are my kind of people. Nintendo or Sega? Yes. Ooh, Nintendo, all the way. Sega's cool, but I was a Nintendo kid. Born and raised. Nintendo. Pizza or hamburgers? Pizza, man. Pizza. <laughs> pizza. Pizza all the way. Okay. iPhone or Android? Ooh, I have one for work and one for personal use. Uh, Android. I'm going iPhone. Last question. Greatest movie of all time. Ooh, this is oh tough. I'm going to go with goodness. Home Alone. Home Alone. Oh, Love you're, you're, oh. did both of you say Home Alone? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to oh. go with The Dark Knight. Okay, I like it. By the way, Home Alone is a great answer. And by the way, The Dark Knight's not even the best Batman movie. Hashtag Michael Keaton's my Batman. Oh, I'm all about bat nips. All right. <laughs> Boys, Gaming Off the Grid, one of my favorite channels on the internet. I found you guys a few, you know, six months ago, seven months ago. Uh, was such a breath of fresh air to see you guys with uh, your guys' canter on screen is very unrivaled. Uh, you guys do a great job. You guys, when you guys do your intros, you guys talk faster than I do without any hiccups. And I'm like, they are killing it. They are crushing it. They know what <laughs> they love about video games. They don't have to try to fight to pretend to be some sort of gaming channel. You guys are gaming off the grid. Riff, we appreciate yes, it we very are. much. Thank you so much. Yes, thank, yeah, you, thank you. Thank you. And uh, it's a pleasure uh, working with you. And uh, thanks for all the support and influence because uh, you have a great channel over there. Oh, stop yeah. it. Go subscribe to these guys, I promise. Robert and Wes. <laughs> Good guys, fun guys. Hey, listen, they talk about beer a lot too, and I don't even drink, so that just shows how much I like them. So, <laughs> all right, you guys, thanks again. All oh, right, thanks, yes. Riff. We'll see you. I got you, Riff. I got you, Riff. I got you, Riff. Holy technology, Batman. <sighs> Dude, this is really serious. This is Pixel Game Squad. Okay. Can't say bad. No cursing. That, that game is bad. No, God! No, God, please, no! Hello, darkness, my old Um, I'm a human resource manager. But I could, I could, I could probably do it better. This is Robert. No! This is Patrick!